Hello, beloved Skylanders. Welcome to Still Waters. Today is the day of the Passover feast. On this day, approximately 3,500 years ago, the angel of death passed over the people of Israel when they were in slavery in Egypt and spared them from the plague of the slaying of the firstborn. And they were protected because of the Passover lamb's blood that was spread on their doorpost. Today, I decree in the midst of, uh, of the pandemic that the COVID pandemic will pass over us and spare you and spare me. Because why? We are covered under more powerful blood, the blood of Jesus, which avails for us today. I want to bring you back to the central person of Jesus himself, to an incident recorded for us in Luke chapter 24, when two disciples encountered Jesus on the road to Emmaus. And I start reading from verse 28. Then they drew near to the village where they were going. They constrained him saying, stay with us for it is towards evening and the day is far spent. And he went in to stay with them. Now it came to pass as he sat at the table with them that he took bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them. Then their eyes were open and they knew him and he vanished from their sight. And they said to one another, did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us on the road when he opened the scripture to us? I want to share with you three third lessons from this in the midst of our MCO. Firstly, stop for him. The two disciples said to Jesus, stay with us. Now these two disciples, they were very sad. They were very confused. Uh, they were very disappointed because they didn't think Jesus had risen from the dead and all their hopes were gone. Now, some of you, as you face the, uh, uh, the pandemic today, your business is threatened, your employees may be threatened, you know, your finances may be very tight, and you yourself, you're worrying about your parents, your children, or your own particular health, and you're not quite sure what to do. And they were not quite sure either, because when they came to Emmaus, they were not ready, but they said to Jesus, you know, come and stay with us. They didn't know it was Jesus, but they said, come and stay with us. They stopped for him. And I want to tell you, when you stop for Jesus and you invite him into your home, into your room, into your circumstances, the miracle begins to take place. Last year, Pastor Nancy and I encountered a tremendous, tremendous challenge, which threatened both, both our family, our finances, and our, our future. It was really out of our control. And so what we did we do? We, we invited God into our household into our situation, into our circumstances. And, you know, during that time, we were we were pastoring Skyline. As we pastored Skyline, we continued to speak faith to all of you, to tell you that God is good and He will see us through every circumstance, even when we were facing something very challenging in our life. It was a very dark time. And suddenly, amazingly, at the end of six months, God did an amazing thing and brought light uh, at the end of the tunnel and freed us from all the circumstances and did the miracle. He can do that for you today if you will stop for him. The two disciples invited Jesus in and they said, stay with us. Secondly, see his supply. They recognized him when he actually took the bread and blessed it and broke it. You know, I, I believe that these two disciples were there at the feeding of the 5,000. They, they recognized what Jesus was doing. They had seen him do this before. See, the bread represents our supply. The blessing of the bread represents our source of supply. Jesus looked to the Father. And the breaking of the bread multiplied the bread as in the feeding of the 5,000. So God says to you today, when you stop for him, when you invite him in and see him as your supply, then, then you will have that breakthrough for whatever you need. And you know what the breakthrough was for the two disciples? Their eyes were suddenly opened and they realized that this was the Messiah. Jesus is alive. And that was the tremendous miraculous breakthrough that they had that just lifted up their spirits. And they said this, did not our hearts burn within us when he talked with us on the road? Suddenly everything became alive. Suddenly everything became clear. Their hearts began to burn again. When you see God breaking through in your supply, when you see God breaking through, his voice, his word, his presence will become real. And you will see him in all these challenges that you're facing today. And then this is what they did. The moment they did that, you know, they began to share the fire. You see, the moment they recognized Jesus, the Bible tells us that Jesus vanished from their sight. I often thought, why? Why couldn't Jesus just give them, you know, a thumbs up and say, hey guys, you finally didn't recognize me. Or Jesus could have, you know, shared more things with them and throughout, the, throughout the whole night in that dinner party. No, Jesus just disappeared and vanished. Why did he do that? Why? Because there was no more need for him to be around. They had seen him. They knew him. They had heard his voice. And now their hearts were on fire 
and his invisible presence now became visible and, and knowable to them. It was tangible to them. And this is what they did. What did they do? They rose up, the Bible tells us, in that very hour and rushed back to Jerusalem to tell the disciples about it. And that's what God will do for us. If you stop for him, we'll see him as a supply. You will begin to catch his fire and share that fire. Because when the MCO is over, you know, we, when we have that fire, we will be, we will be charging out of the blocks to share the gospel of the breakthroughs God has given us to our friends, to our families, to our socially distanced friends, as well as to you know, our suppliers, our customers, our clients. And this is what God wants to do us to do for you during the time of this MCO. I trust that you've been blessed by this word from the road to Emmaus and that you will stop for him, that you will see him as your supply and that you will catch the fire and share the fire with your family and your friends in the coming days. God bless you until we meet again at the next Still Waters. In Jesus' name, amen.